Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey all, the old captain here. Ho, ho, ho. It's the Christmas season. It is the Yuletide. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to look it up after. Actually, I am going to look up what Yuletide means. Like Yule with waves crashing into it because it's a tide. I don't know. But anyway, we have a video request. And if you have a video request or you need some kind of consultation, guidance, or wisdom, go to assholeconsulting.com and I, the world's only professional asshole, will give you my honest opinion, which is worth more than a billion hours of touchy-feely child psychology major type girls who say, it's not your parents, it's your parents. So, yeah, if you want your shit resolved, come contact me. Dear asshole, I'm a fan of your work, would appreciate your opinion. I'm a 29-year-old and have a girlfriend who I've been with now for five years. No marriage, no kids. She is overweight with a BMI in the high 20s, and this has slowly been creeping up over the years. Oh, yeah, girls, they just, you yeah. know. I'm hot, yay, world give me shit. Now oh, just get a little fat. I work out regularly, run, lift weights, keep in good shape, and have uh, a body most guys don't have. Good. Good for you. I do this primarily for myself, but realize the importance of physical attraction in a sexual relationship, so I do it in part for her. You're a good man. That's exact. Look, we're all very harsh on the women here because women are always pushing fat acceptance. But I really honestly think there's an intellectual honesty on the part of us men where we stay in shape, we diet, and we work out regularly. Because uh, we you know it's hypocrisy to demand hot, skinny, trim girls whose asses fit in that. Do you know how to do that thing? You take your thumbs, you put them together like that. It depends on like how biased you are. But you should be, that's how your girlfriend's ass should fit right in there. Backing up parking garage, kind of like that's That's where her ass should back up into, no more, no less. <laughs> It actually is a damn good thing. I know you guys are laughing. Well, really? It, it, it's not a bad rule of thumb. Ha! Get it! Thumbs with the ha! ha you know. Uh, my girlfriend, like most girls, is quite sensitive about her weight, but she does realize the need to lose some. I'm quite direct and tell her this, but she comes out with the whole you'll love me no matter what, which I correct her on because I wouldn't if she was a whale, but she kind of jokingly ignores it. We all know, however, that biology always wins. I have told her she needs to do two simple things, eat less and work out more, but she is forever making excuses, example, work and family commitments, so seemingly cannot get to the gym regularly. She has quite a high sex drive and is physically attracted to me. I am to her for the most part, except for the fact that if she continues to gain weight, I know that it will fade. My question is, what strategies can I use to encourage her to lose weight? How should I approach the subject? I know that ultimately it is her choice, but I want to do all that I can. Okay, look, <clears throat> I appreciate this situation because every guy, well, not every guy, but 98% of us are in this situation. Um, where women, they capture one of us. They think, no, I can go, I'll go Oprah on us. Um, here's the deal, dude. I ain't gonna lie. I, I hate to sound so simplistic and all that, but it's kind of the here's the door. Um, it it uh, women have been fed so much bullshit about what men like, about what men should like, and if men ever voice their opinion about what they do like, that it's shallow and you should shame them and blah 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 that uh, they really are. I mean, where you said. She's, she's been brainwashed. She says, I'm quite direct. Well, you said this. I'm quite direct and tell her this, but she comes out with the whole, you'll love me no matter what. Yeah, dude, that didn't come out of a fucking vacuum. She's been told that by society, her parents, psychologists, therapists, teachers, guidance counselors, Vogue magazine, that men should just love you for you. But it's the biggest lie told to women because the number one thing to the guy is physical attractiveness. That's it. And the number one thing for women also is physical attractiveness, and this is where we get into the debate of like, okay, here's somebody you want to fuck versus here's someone that you want to marry. So like, at minimum, everybody needs to be physically attracted to one another, 
male or female, it doesn't matter. You need to have a certain amount of physical attraction because in the rest of the debate, do I want to stick with you for the rest of a life becomes moot. So if I don't want to fuck you, there's no discussion or debate about whether you have a personality that is conducive to being a reliable wife or husband, father or mother to our children, let alone somebody I'd like to enjoy the company of till death do us part. So uh, right here you can tell that she's, you'll love me no matter what. That's, that's like she's not living in the real world. You're not dealing with someone who's anchored in the real world. And on top of it, here you are. And I don't mean like, girlfriend, you do this and you do that, but he don't respect you. But no, really, you go to the gym. You lift weights. I do that too. And it fucking sucks. It sucks. There's nothing worse than it. <laughs> and you're in pain and misery. You feel like throwing up because it is. So, um, she has been brainwashed to a certain extent that, you know, like, well, you'll just love her for her anyway. And uh, it don't sound like that way because this girl is incapable of selflessness. She doesn't realize how important it is to you. You're making the sacrifice of, you know, lifting up weights and you know, for your own self, but then also because you righteously so know that if you are going to demand certain physical attractiveness of a woman, you should also then deliver equal physical attractiveness to the lady. Uh, so I'm sorry, here's what I'm going to recommend because I don't believe in this Oprah, let's complicate psychological feelings, emotional. You tell her there's the door, Alif. There's the door, pull a fucking Tom like us. there's the door. You say, you, I mean, I know this sounds so cheap and shallow, but look at the hypocrisy she's putting you in, this hip, uh, hypocr hypocritical, hypocratic, uh, she's putting you in an impossible situation. You basically say, look, um, physical attractiveness is not an option with me. It's not. And you either lose the weight or I'm going to kick you out. You have, and I'm serious, do this, because I've done this, and it actually works. And this is the thing where I think men are just biggest fucking pussies ever. Because, I don't know, you kowtow to these women, you don't want to hurt their feelings. Fuck their feelings. Fucking hurt them. They like you more when you hurt their feelings. It's weird. It's fucked up. I don't know. I don't look. I didn't make the rules. I just play by them. I learned that when you treat women like shit, and you actually hold them to a stand, you even treat them like shit. You treat them like equals. To them, that feels like being treated like shit. Because, what well, it means like this to be a man. It's like, yeah, look at it, sweet tits. How does it feel? You want to be equal? Here it is. Sweetheart, you're going to lose this weight. If you don't lose the weight, I'm kicking you out. And that's the best thing I'm going to do because here's your other options. You got to lay down the ultimatum and say, you either lose this much weight by this time and you're going to stick with it because physical attractiveness is very important to me. And then she'll do the whole thing about, well, you'll love me no matter what. And that's shy say, I could have swore I just told you my preference and now you're telling me my fucking preference? Let me tell you something, sugar tits. I just told you I like blue more than red. I like Dunhill cigars more than I do Monte Cristos. <coughs> I like uh, stuffed buffaloes than I do more than stuffed uh, angry birds. That's my fucking preference. You're going to respect my fucking decision. And if you don't like it, that's cool. That's cool. You don't have to respect my decision. You can say, well, I value me being fat and stuffing my fucking gullet with food and being a fat ass more than your happiness and physical satisfaction with me. And if that's the case, because sexual attraction is the number one thing to guys, you say goodbye. It's a deal breaker. That's it. In other words, what you're, you're being asked to overcome a huge hurdle because society has like so brainwashed these women into thinking that everything revolves around them. You're basically saying, look, physique is the number one thing to men on top of many other mandatory requirements. Like, I mean, a human b body cannot exist without a brain and a heart and lungs and all this. Other. You're saying like, look, I need the brain. We all got to start with the brain. That doesn't mean that if we're going to get married and be long term together, that you can't do without a heart or lungs or, or digestive system, all these other things that go into a human body. But right off the bat, number one is we need a fucking mind. We need a fucking brain. And if this girl's like, no, you love me for whatever else, da, 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 she has obviously no compa capacity for altruism, selflessness, or being concerned about what you want. And that is not wife material. That is not long-term material. So what I would do is I would gear yourself up psychologically to getting rid of this girl. I know you've been together for five years. It's going to suck. You're going to be without each other, but you're basically... Because here's what's going to happen. Well, let me finish my original thought. 
you basically say, I'm sorry, this is not acceptable to me. You're getting fatter and fatter and fatter, and physique is very important to me. Matter of fact, it's the number one thing in men. You can say that, shout that, 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 doesn't change what it is. This is important to me. Now, you either have the capacity to incorporate that into your mind that this is the number one thing to me, and you should make adjustments for that. And if you can't do that, that's fine. There are 150 million men in this country. And you can find another man like you. But in the meantime, this means a lot to me. And I'm going to find another girl that actually will keep herself in shape and does appreciate the fact that men value physique and beauty more than anything else. Uh, and that's basically it. You lay down the law. You lay down the ultimatum. Your only other option is because I understand after five years, you probably have like some psychological attachment to this person, is you get a girl on the side. And I'm sorry, and I, I will I will tell you, now listen ladies, listen ladies, I know I'm just a disgusting pig already to begin with, I'm about to get even more disgustingly and more piggy. If your girlfriend gets fat, I think it's grounds for divorce and dumping, but if you are psychologically attached to that one but she gets fat, you can go have an affair, absolutely, go find yourself a, a, a mistress, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I know women don't understand this, but women never ever listen to what men think or men's psychology because you all have been sucking Oprah's dick. If she has one, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but men need physical and intellectual satisfaction. And since you girls are not going to deliver the physical, they will find it somewhere else. So this is why men have typically had uh, mistresses in the past is because wifey got fat or was overbearing. It's like, ah, fuck it, I got money. I'm going to go nail this other hot little 20-something girl over here. And uh, it's cowardly on your part. I'm going to be intellectually honest. I think you should just dump your girl because it's not, it's not fair to her, but... We could argue she's not being fair to you, blah, blah, blah. But I, I just, I find that beneath all of us, I, I'd rather deal with a woman who's straight up front and forward. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you want to keep her around, uh, but you want to get your jollies off with another gal, absolutely, go fucking find a, find a, a mistress. Um, so, you know, keep your friend of five years in, keep that psych, uh, psychological thing. Oh, this is going to torment you to hell. This isn't great for you healthy uh, psychologically wise. But I'm, I'm saying from a logical uh, empiricist, economist, cold calculating type of person, uh, if she's not going to stay physically fit for you, then yeah, go fucking fuck another chick. I'm, I'm sorry, you ladies are going to learn that that's your number one value to society. I know you don't like it. I know ideally it would be something different, but Half the population is genetically programmed to be sexually attracted to you. And that's the number one commodity in the world. More than gold, more than oil, more than anything else. And that is female beauty. And half the population will pay. You didn't think Western civilization was just built up for shits and giggles because we were bored, did you? It's like, look what I built. Suck my dick. That's basically Western civilization. <laughs> In two sentences, look what I built, suck my dick. That's it, right there. Um, but, you know, a few girls like, you just like me, because I'm sucking Oprah's dick. Ah, no, fuck her. Go find some hot piece of ass. Fuck her on the side. Absolutely, 100%. But what would be more uh, uh, easier for you in the long run, even though painful in the short and uh, a little bit more intellectually honest, Say, so here's the deal, sweetheart. You got a month to lose this much weight. If you don't, buy. I'm done because phys physique is that important to me. Just be honest with yourself and with her. So I'm sorry, this is very important. And you think it's cute and funny. You think it's a joke. Uh, but if you're not going, you know, I'm not going to be happy without a hot chick to nail. And since you don't want to be a hot chick, you think it's just like, and the arrogance of her, like, you'll love me no matter what. No, you won't. And you're right to tell her. But I didn't think she needs a, a very clear punch in the face. Not physically, but a punch in the face of reality, like you say, ah, you know what, you're losing this much weight by this time, otherwise you're gone. May seem cold, may seem cold-hearted, uh, but I guarantee you she's going to lose the weight and she'll be more loyal to you. Women are weird. They just, they just, I don't know, they respect men. They just like hold them to standards. There's this feminist kid. Never mind. I'll, I'll tell you another story anyway. So yeah, I'm sorry. Tough situation, but that's what you got to do. Best of luck. Toodles.